a breath of fresh air. Thank you all for coming here today. As Pharaoh of Egypt, I think it is my responsibility to deal with the problem at hand. The problem, you might ask, is one that we all have been seeing. The Hebrew people are increasing in numbers in our land and they are everywhere. We need to come up with a solution to deal with this problem. How did they even come here to begin with? My records tell me that they've been brought here by the former Viceroy, Zafnef Panea, also known by his Hebrew name, Joseph, I think it was. Joseph? That name means nothing to me. Who is this guy? Look, the Israelites have become far too numerous for us. Come, we must deal shrewdly with them or they will become even more numerous. And if a war breaks out, they will join with our enemies, fight against us and leave the country. Your Majesty, if it pleases the King, I have an idea. An idea, you say? Let's put slave masters in charge of them and have them labor for us. Ah, let's put slave masters. Okay, okay. I like this idea. So, you know what we're going to do? I've had two cities I've ever wanted to be built. Pithom and Ramses, two new store cities. Let's put them to work. Get to work. What are you doing? Pay attention. Work harder. Status report. Your Highness, it appears that our initiatives have not been successful. As a matter of fact, their numbers have doubled, if not tripled since the last time we spoke. You mean to tell me there's even more of them now? You know what? You're not working them hard enough. Work them harder. Make their lives bitter and harsh. More manual labor. More bricks. More mortar. More farming. More sheep. More camels. We need it all. Work them ruthlessly. You heard the man. There was a direct order from the boss that you must work harder. Faster. Harder. There's no slacking on the job. More. 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 Let's see if you have time for kids now. Your Highness, once again, it is with great grief that I bring to you our progress report. Since we last spoke, our numbers has tripled, if not quadrupled, since the last time we spoke. Alright, clearly this isn't working. We need another idea. Bring in the midwives. Yes, my lord. Here we are. Sifra Pua, I have a task for you. Whenever you help the Hebrew woman during childbirth on delivery, if it's a boy, kill him. But if it's a girl, you could let her live. Status report. My lord, there has been no progress since we last spoke. The midwives have not been doing what you said. What? There's even more of them? I'm afraid so, my lord. Call the midwives back. Why have you done this? Why have you let the boys live? My lord, the Hebrews are not like the Egyptians. They give birth before we even arrive. You know what? I'm done with this. Every Hebrew boy will be thrown into the Nile and every girl can live. The views on a breath of fresh air podcast reflects the parties involved and we encourage you all to use it as a conversational tool that will lead to personal studies of your own.